Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the coffee table. Lessons I've learned, problems with it, um, little imperfections and things that bug me. I want to show the reality of woodworking as opposed to the perfection that everyone sees on YouTube. Uh, I think that showing that off makes things a little bit more easy for the average person to understand that not all woodworking is perfection you actually got to work a little bit harder to show off some of those uh, details that aren't quite perfect. So today let's dive in and take a closer look at the coffee table. So let me take you around and point out some of the things that I like, some of the things I learned, and uh, what we can do better on this next time. I am in love with how the finish came out on this. Rubio Monocoat is one of my favorite. It just feels great, very, very smooth. Uh, but still has that matte finish. It's not glossy. You still get the texture of the wood. I am in love with how all of that came out. Just exactly what I would want in a finish. I wish I had filled these pinholes with a different epoxy. I used the five minute epoxy thinking, ah, that'll help so it won't leak around the pin. But I wish I had taken my time and used a clear epoxy. They don't really show up very well on this epoxied surface. The holes here on the end grain are a little bit better, but still not fantastic. Uh, it just it just doesn't look quite right. Uh, I wish I had done a, a different epoxy on that, or at least mixed in a darker cue into this to, to match with the end grain on this. I wasn't sure how I was going to like this live edge mixed with the epoxy fill. Normally I like either live edge or an epoxy fill, but I kind of like this going back and forth. It smooths out the textures, especially this area here where you have a bit of a concavity. This really came out, and I, I, I like the feel and shape of it. The mix between the live edge and the epoxy and these cut surfaces uh, really comes out well, and I kind of like that. As to the cabling, I really like how this came out. The only downside is that I didn't quite get the points measured point to point. I think when I marked out on the bottom, I marked the points here, but on one of these two, I accidentally moved it rather than being from the front edge to being the back edge. So if you look at it, the cable doesn't go perfectly vertical here. It leans that way. And so from this end, this whole cable set is leaning that way. Um, and I wish I had uh, seen that ahead of time, but oh well, once it's up, it's up. Just one of the things to Transferring the lines from one slab to the other was uh, far more difficult than I expected. I really like these X's. These came out fantastically. The structure they give is phenomenal. I mean, there is absolutely no play in this direction at all. And the same with this X. There is no play at all in that direction. And because these two X's aren't exactly opposing each other, there's a third direction that goes between them, um, and it doesn't have as much support that way. I thought I would fix some of that with these cables, um, but that just didn't work. Uh, I kind of liked the idea and the look of this V, but it just didn't come out quite right. So um, I wish I had put an X on this side rather than a V, and I changed that for the plans. But uh, yeah, you live and you learn. Uh, if I did put an X on this, it would have been 100% completely solid. Um, as it is right now, I mean, it, it's still incredibly solid. I don't think I would, I would have any problem with putting a, a hot cup of coffee on here. But you can see if I move it in this direction, um, one of these will slack up a bit. And you can get a little bit of movement one way and the other. Not a huge amount, but enough that you notice. The epoxy fill on the side, I'm just really happy with how it came out. That little bit of glitter hid any small imperfections in the epoxy. I'm going to be adding that metallic hint to any other fill I do in the future because that really cleaned this up. You can't see it as much on the video, but in person it really came out well, and being able to see through and see some of this is, is kind of cool. Especially some of these points in here where you can see the hardware going through the epoxy and out the other side. I really like how that came out. These connection points I'm, I was fairly happy with. Um, there's a, a little bit of a gap on the back side of this one. And the one on top has a, a bit of a gap on it too. Right there, you can see that. Uh, not perfect, but it was the first time trying something like this. Uh, I think in the future, I would actually put dowels up through the surface into this. Uh, I, would, I would sock it in just like I did before, but also put dowels up through or something else. I don't think there's any stability issue in there. Um, it's just one of those things I like to over engineer. I thought about having this arch come all the way through and then being flush cut on top. Um, I just didn't get that and kind of came out, eh, okay. You can still see some of these scrub plane marks in here. Um, I wish I had uh, spent a little more time surfacing and planing, but uh, those 
are okay. <laughs> just uh, not perfect. And you can only see them when the light angle is just right. I really love this edge here with the wave and the wood grain here. This came out phenomenally well. Uh, we'd love to uh, we'd love to keep this in my house, but alas, we are auctioning it off. Also, when moving it around, for some reason, this particular ferrule starts to work its way out, and you can see it's out just a little bit here. Not horrible, but just enough that it's annoying me. I can get some a piece of aluminum and pound it back down in, um, but if I move this around a lot, pick it up and carry it, uh, that starts to work out. On the point of these ferrules, I really like how they came out. They're nice. They just make this a little cleaner, smoother. Um, I'm really, really, really happy with how these came out. I, I would definitely use those again in the future. I was able to get most of the bug holes pretty well and filled them up nicely. That came out relatively well. Uh, but there was one here that I missed, and I didn't see it until actually after the finish. But, oh well, such is life. <laughs> And here you can see with the alignment of the two arches from end to end, um, they don't quite match up. This back one is out a little bit farther, and this one is that way a little bit farther. Um, again, to the outlining that I had issuing. I, I guess I could pull one cable more and actually shift the top over, uh, but then that would cause the top to be out of balance. So big key takeaways, I wish I had put a third X. If you have three X's on these, it would be incredibly solid. There wouldn't be any wavering on that at all. Number two, I need to take more time being careful to transfer the marks from one slab up to the other when placing these arches. Uh, just making sure that those are exactly where I want would be far more important so I don't get that, that sway from one direction to the other. I'm thinking about doing this again in the future with a hexagon rather than uh, two live edges, and that way I could have three X's on three of the six sides. I think that would look pretty cool, but I don't know. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. I'm just, I'm really, really happy with how this came out, and I think that someone is going to be very happy because it, currently it's at $200. Um, so someone's going to get a steal of a deal on a cool piece of furniture. So I hope you liked this little walk around. It was kind of fun doing it with the, the phone and actually uh, showing some of the little details and, and things going on in this. Um, if there's something you saw that was interesting, I'd love to find that out down below. Also, the auction for this is still available. There's links to that as well down below. Um, I don't yet have the plans available, but I will in a couple days. So if you're watching this in a few days in the future, there'll be links to that down below as well. So I'm looking forward to auctioning this off. The proceeds from the auction will be going to the Winnebago Casa. Um, they do a phenomenal job of helping kids through the legal system, finding a permanent home to go to. Um, a really, really cool organization, and I'm hoping that we can uh, give them a decent check for this. So uh, if you'd like to find out that, information down below. Also, I want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can keep making videos. So thank you for that. Um, if you'd like to find out more about Patreon, or you can click the Members Join button, there's links to that down below. And I do put up behind-the-scenes videos and little things that are going on on there as well. We, yesterday, we did a whole build day, and I brought that along, just turned the camera on so you could watch what was happening in my shop. So thank you to everyone scrolling over here on the side. Thanks for keeping the lights on, and I think that'll about do it for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day. We don't make mistakes, just happy little wood curls.